in vivo, uh, the Indian Center for Single Session Therapy, co-founded by Professor Windy Dryden and Swati Khanwilkar, is conducting primary practicum in single session therapy in March this year. This is the only SST training conducted by Professor Dryden in India, and it happens once a year. We are lucky to have Professor Dryden with us today to share his thoughts on the primary practicum. Professor Dryden is a world-renowned REBT and CBT therapist and coach, and an emeritus professor from Goldsmiths University of London. He has authored over 220 books in REBT and CBT, and over 10 books in single session therapy. Welcome, Professor Dryden. Professor Dryden, you've talked about single session therapy in other forums and platforms. However, for those who are new to it, if you were to give a quick introduction to SSD, what would you say? Single session therapy is an intentional um, therapeutic endeavor where the uh, therapist and the client uh, start off with the intention of helping the clients in one session, but recognizing that more help may be available later and the client can access that help should they need to. Professor Dryden, in the past, you've mentioned that single session therapy is a mindset and not a therapeutic approach. Could you elaborate on that? Well, the therapeutic approach is something like CBT or Gestalt therapy or narrative therapy or something like that, which is a specific way of thinking and specific um, way of, of actually kind of practicing with people. A single session mindset is the, is the way that um, the therapist uh, thinks about therapy as they approach what could be the only time that they will be seeing the person. So all of those approaches can be practiced within a single session framework, but um, the mindset is something that uh, is important you know, to go on. And the mindset is based on, the, on that idea. Let's see if we can help the person in, in one session, but recognizing that uh, more help may be available later. Right. Thank you, Professor Dryden, because this will help to clarify to candidates who are interested uh, in the practicum that this is open not just for those who have a background in REBT, but also oh, yeah. for those who've trained in other therapeutic approaches. Indeed. And also it's open to people who practice coaching, as well as, as, um, as other forms of help. Right. Any, any time where two people are, are, are meeting with the intention of improving the well-being of one of them is um, certainly this, this particular certificate would be of relevance to them. Because actually what we find is that uh, the most frequent number of, of sessions clients have across the world is one. Uh, and therefore we need to, to be prepared to, to help them in one session because we never know um, if they're going to come back or not. So uh, in a way, Professor Dryden, what you're saying is that uh, this practicum is not just for mental health professionals, but for professions from other allied fields as well, because in your trainings in the past, we've had uh, coaches and HR professionals join as well. Yeah, any time, as I say, uh, two people meet with the intention of, of helping uh, a person in a way that is hope that was going to increase their mental well-being, I think that would be uh, open to a to, uh, to single session primary certificate program. In fact, Professor Dryden, you conduct the famous rapid REBT sessions in the Facebook group. Wouldn't you say that that is also single session therapy in practice at work? Uh, well, yes and no, because um, it is there. I'm, I'm there uh, with the intention of, of actually um, demonstrating REBT in a in a very, um, as you say, rapid manner. The, the sessions last about twenty minutes, and so um, there, the, the person knows that it's only going to be for a very short period of time, and it's only gonna be a one-off session. Although I do occasionally invite people to come back much later, certainly not next week. So, um, and also my intention is to, is to limit myself to an REBT way of working where I don't limit myself 
when I'm actually practicing single session therapy. Although, I, of course, I'm informed by REBT, I'm not just limiting myself to it. Okay. Uh, lastly, Professor Dryden, you have conducted shorter workshops in single session therapy. This, however, is a primary practicum and the audience will benefit in knowing how the primary practicum in March is different from the shorter workshops. Well, um, it's a bit like the same with REBT. You have a one day um, uh, course in, in REBT that is there to introduce the basic ideas and the basic practice. What the, what the introduction doesn't, doesn't have, which the, the primary certificate does have, uh, is um, supervised practice of people doing single session therapy with one another, as well as uh, going into a, a broader range of, of topics more intensely. So it's it's a more intensive program, and 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 people are 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 given, um, and part of it is that they get um, the opportunity to practice single session therapy with one of their peers in front of the whole group, and I give them feedback. And that doesn't happen on my one day uh, introductory workshop. Thank you, Professor Dryden. We thank Professor Dryden for joining us today and we're looking forward to the training in March. Yeah, me too. Uh, thank you very much. Bye-bye.